Nerima, do you see the needs of the ordinary citizens being exposed in this whole conversation? Or is it, has it now just become a push and pull between, as they say, the bulls are fighting, so the grass is hurting? Mm. Uh, thank you, Trevor. Good morning. Uh, it's been an interesting conversation over the last few weeks. In the beginning of it, the conversation was about the high cost of living slowly changed into IBC and opening the servers, quickly became political and all about interests. And I say this because now we are focusing a lot on individuals and individuals in particular, we have just talked about member of parliament, Gainan, but also looking at the conversations that the bipartisan talks will have. We're seeing what's coming to the fore is about particular offices, and then we're also touching on an election that quite frankly, a lot of Kenyans are still in campaign mode and exhausted from campaign mode. So I do not think the focus is on the high cost of living. Because even when I look at the cover of yesterday's newspaper, there was a picture of uh, Honorable Sabina Chege and former President Uhuru Kenyatta. Pictures speak much more than words, and I, I say that frequently. In that particular image, uh, the former president seems to be larger, and it was a headline, and Honorable Sabina Chege's picture was very tiny. That is a sense of humiliation. What we're seeing here is petty politics, individuals who are bitter, because of decisions that were made in the past, and people are now playing out those ambitions in terms of feeling their interests have not been met, and then they're using the political fora to bring about that anger. That is what I'm seeing right now. I believe that we are losing focus um, because the high cost of living truly is an issue to the Kenyan people right now. And honestly, our leaders do not have the time for these squabbles. The Kenyan people are in a lot of pain, and I'm sure we know that. Because even today in the front page of the nation, when we look at the performance of the key economic sectors, on the downside, new jobs have gone down. When you have a majority population that is youth, we need to be worried if they have nowhere to go after they are finished with schools. And even when we look at the performance of agriculture, food is going down. So if they are not working and they are hungry, we need to be more concerned. And when we're seeing that when it looks at ECD, space in primary schools, on the other side, there's an increase of birth. So when we see an increase of birth in a young population, because this is the population that is giving birth, that means they're spending a lot of their time together. They are not working. And so when they are producing... That's an interesting analogy. I'm telling you, are not working. So when they are producing more, and they are not working, and there's no food, and there's no jobs, it's a very serious problem. Serious. Yeah. And, and I'm concerned that our leaders are, are not seeing the dire issues and, and wanting to look past the political animosity and this fight of causing humiliation and embarrassment to one another yeah. and, and focus on the bigger issue, which is how are people putting food on their table, access to opportunity and access to education needs to be key and for the betterment of our country. All right.